In today's workshop on the Saab 93, water in the passenger footwell. Or maybe, is your Saab 93 heater fan not working? These problems are linked, so stay tuned and I'll explain how. Today I'm going to talk about what is probably the most common um, source of water leak into the passenger footwell that I see on all of the forums. But we'll come to that in a moment. There are, of course, several possibilities. A uh, damaged door seal around here, allowing water in. And a leaking heater matrix, allowing coolant to uh, get onto the carpet, are two of the possibilities. Uh, a damaged door seal is easy to check for with visual inspection. And if you've got a coolant leak, you would expect to see the coolant in your coolant reservoir go down. Uh, you could also get some of the wetness on your fingers taste it and if it tastes sweet it's coolant but the incredibly common problem as I'm going to show you how to resolve today is water leaking through the HVAC system onto the top edge of the carpet up the back here what the water does that comes in through the HVAC system is it runs down behind the carpet between the carpet and the floor so sometimes you uh, may have water in there and not even know it uh, and also it, it will let it can tend to run over the carpet and soak into the carpet itself and mats here and leaks through the HVAC system generally originate around the cabin filter so let's go to the cabin filter and I'll show you uh, what's happening there open up your scuttle area and remove the water shield and the cabin air filter like I've shown you in uh, in the cabin filter video I'll link to that down in the description so that you can refer to it. There are two root causes that allow water to uh, leak into the passenger compartment via the HVAC system, and I'm going to show you them both. If you find that one of them is, is the particular cause for yours, don't neglect to look at the other. First of all, if we look at the cabin filter housing, you can see that where it contacts the bodywork at the back here and down the sides and similarly across the underside and up the other side that you can't see, this housing is sealed to the body with a simple foam gasket in that, in that gap there. Now over the years that foam gasket deteriorates and then allows water to pass through. When water comes down the screen and drains onto the scuttle panel it comes this way and passes through uh, holes in the scuttle panel into the uh, scuttle cavity and is intended to drain down and away over here thus bypassing the cabin filter housing however over the years this scuttle edge lifts a little bit off the screen particularly if you've had another screen fitted it may not be fitted in the exact same position as the original one and some water comes underneath and well you can see the dirt traces here along my metalwork flange which, would, which indicates that a lot of water has come this way, gone over here, and it fills up these little pockets where the ribs are on the uh, filter housing. When they fill up to the top with water, you can see that the ribs come right to the top. So then when more water comes down, these pockets fill to the top and they leak, and then they overflow onto the seal in that gap. And if the seal is not robust, that allows water to drip into the HVAC motor cavity. So that's the first issue. The second issue is this, is this drain point down here. You can see how dirty it is around there. And there's a rubber outlet uh, fixed into an oval hole in the body. And it's very common for dirt to get down in here, dirt and leaves and other such debris get down in here and block this drain point up. Then the water level can get up to about here, at which point it spills in, soaks the filter, and then passes into the car through the filter. First of all, we need to remove this filter housing. There are two black clips, one here and one just hidden from your view here. Pull back the clip here, which releases its grip on the inside and swing it away. Same on the other side. The housing is fitted over two studs, one here just above the black clip and the other here just above the black clip. So pull the housing forwards you can now see the remnants of the foam seal that was originally fitted. And we now need to remove the foam seal and the remnants from all around. With the filter housing out of the way, and if I lift this harness up out of the way, you can see this drain point here a lot clearer. 
and you can see how dirt gathers here I'm sure you can imagine how it would be very easy for this rubber bung to fill up with dirt and become blocked reach down the underside squeeze the drain and remove you can see now how it works water drains down there there's a little flap here and the water should drain out of there under your outside tap or take it inside give this a good clean a small scrubbing brush or, or a bottle brush uh, and some warm water with the uh, washing up liquid in it will do a power of good with the filter housing out of the car use a scraper or whatever means you've got at your disposal to clean off the foam and all the sticky give it a wipe down with a, a rag soaked with a little brake cleaner inside here there's a piece of foam that helps to ensure that the filter itself fits snugly against the uh, top surface and the bottom take that out give the bottom a clean and renew that piece of foam I've already done mine before so I'm leaving that as it is with the filter and its housing removed you can see into the uh, air intake for the cabin and here you can see the fan and the fan motor and if you look in very carefully where I've got the end of my screwdriver you can actually see the field windings of the motor itself so you can imagine that if water gets in here it gets into the motor it gets into the motor bearings and into the uh, field windings and onto the uh, contacts and doesn't do it any good at all sometimes they make a screeching noise uh, sometimes they just burn out and stop working and of course from here the water then continues to leak uh, into the carpet area so you can see now how the issue of water on the carpet and HVAC fans not working are, are linked by the same cause while I'm in here I'm putting a little penetrating oil in this area in the hope that it gets on the bearings with a scraper or another suitable tool remove the remains of the foam gasket from the uh, surrounding area of the aperture also give the surrounding area of the aperture a clean with a, a rag with some brake cleaner on it uh, that will become a little clearer later why that is get in here with your vacuum cleaner and clean out any debris that may have gone into the uh, cabin air intake probably worth giving this uh, whole scuttle area here a good uh, a good vacuuming and of course don't forget to put your drain bung back in make sure that it's uh, properly located all around now with a piece of suitable foam gasket I'm using single sided sticky but you could get some uh, double sided foam gasket start at the bottom in the middle and stick the gasket without stretching it to the surface of the cabin filter holder and butt the edge of your gasket up to the little edge that runs all the way around cut this end about a millimeter or two longer than the edge of the other end is so that you can make sure that you butt it up properly together so that there is no gap now the reason why I've put my foam very carefully against this uh, edge is to leave me some land where I can put a bead of silicon so that when the this goes back on that gives me extra security against leaks and without wasting any time because you don't want the silicon to set put the housing back on fold the clips back into the inside clip in to stop it from becoming a uh, trap for dirt down below the housing I've rerouted this harness above the filter housing instead of below it just so happens to fit perfectly and return your filter to position as I showed you in the other video being uh, careful to make sure you put it the right way around with the arrows pointing inwards don't forget to put your water shield back in put your scuttle back down seal in place repark the uh, windscreen wipers once that silicon sets you'll never be troubled with water leaks into your cabin again but do remember at each service point each year go down there give the uh, drain rubber a good squeeze get make sure there's no dirt in it make sure that it's free and you'll be fine 
I hope you've enjoyed this video and that you got some value out of it. If you did, please give it a like down by the title and I'll see you next time.